Hello friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel English Simplified. I hope you all are doing well today in this video. I am going to tell you how to speak English fluently through story. I am going to give a amazing technique at the end of my video so please watch the entire video without skipping. Let's go step wise. Step 1, the spark of curiosity. I've always been a curious soul, eager to explore the world around me. As a young child growing up in the bustling city of Hyderabad, India, I was fascinated by the English language. I heard it spoken on the radio, on television, and even in the conversations of my neighbors. The rhythmic flow, the melodious sounds, and the sheer power of expression it held captivated me. My journey towards fluency began innocently enough. I started by listening to English songs. I would spend hours singing along to the lyrics, trying to mimic the pronunciation and intonation. At first, I stumbled over the words, my tongue twisting and turning in unfamiliar ways. But I persisted, driven by a childlike enthusiasm and a desire to connect with the music I loved. As I listened more and more, I began to notice patterns and similarities between English and my native Telugu. I realized that many words shared the same roots and that understanding these connections could help me grasp the English language more easily. This discovery fueled my curiosity even further, and I started to explore the language beyond just songs. I began to read English books. starting with simple children's stories at first i struggled to understand the meaning of many words but i persevered using a dictionary to look up unfamiliar terms as i read more i started to develop a vocabulary and a sense of how english sentences were constructed i also began to appreciate the nuances of the language the subtle differences in meaning between similar words In addition to reading, I also started to watch English movies and television shows. I would watch with subtitles at first to help me understand the dialogue. As my comprehension improved, I gradually stopped relying on subtitles, immersing myself in the language and culture. Watching movies and TV shows not only helped me learn new vocabulary, but it also exposed me to different accents and dialects expanding my understanding of the english language step 2 immersion and practice with a solid foundation in listening reading and watching i was ready to take the next step in my language learning journey immersion and practice i knew that to truly become fluent I needed to surround myself with the English language and actively use it in my daily life. One of the most effective ways to immerse oneself in a language is to speak it regularly. I started by joining an English language club in my school. This provided me with a safe and supportive environment to practice speaking with other learners. We would discuss various topics, debate current events, and engage in role playing activities these sessions were challenging at first but they helped me build confidence and overcome my fear of making mistakes i also sought out opportunities to practice speaking english outside of the classroom i would strike up conversations with foreigners i met in the city or i would ask my english teacher to correct my pronunciation These interactions were invaluable as they allowed me to experience real-world communication and learn from native speakers. To further enhance my speaking skills, I started to write in English. I kept a journal, wrote letters to friends, and even attempted to write short stories. Writing forced me to think critically about the language and express my thoughts clearly and concisely. It also helped me identify areas where I needed to improve my grammar and vocabulary. As I continued to immerse myself in the English language, 
I became more comfortable and confident in my abilities. I started to think in English rather than translating from my native Telugu. This was a significant milestone as it indicated that the language had become a natural part of my thought process. Step 3: Building confidence and overcoming challenges. As I progressed in my English language learning journey, I encountered inevitable challenges. There were times when I felt overwhelmed by the sheer volume of new vocabulary and grammar rules. There were also moments when I doubted my ability to ever become truly fluent. But I knew that perseverance was key and that with consistent effort I could overcome these obstacles. One of the most effective strategies for building confidence is to celebrate small victories. Whenever I achieved a new goal, such as completing a book or having a successful conversation with a native speaker, I would take time to acknowledge my progress and reward myself. This positive reinforcement helped me stay motivated and focused on my long-term objectives. Another important aspect of language learning is to embrace mistakes. It's natural to make errors and they should be viewed as opportunities for growth. Instead of being discouraged by my mistakes, I learned to approach them with a sense of curiosity and a desire to learn. By analyzing my errors and understanding the underlying rules, I was able to improve my language skills and avoid making the same mistakes in the future. As I continued to practice and immerse myself in the English language, I gradually gained confidence in my abilities. I no longer felt intimidated by the language and I was able to communicate effectively in a variety of contexts. My journey towards fluency was a long and challenging one, but it was also incredibly rewarding. Through perseverance, dedication, and a love for the language, I was able to transform myself from a hesitant learner into a confident English speaker. Step 4 Continuous learning and growth. Even after achieving fluency, my journey with the English language didn't end. Language is a living organism that constantly evolves, and to stay proficient, I knew I needed to continue learning and growing. One way to maintain my language skills was to stay engaged with English-speaking media. I continued to read books, watch movies, and listen to podcasts. This exposure to different accents, dialects, and styles of writing helped me stay up to date with the latest trends and developments in the language. I also sought out opportunities to improve my writing skills. I started a blog where I wrote about my experiences and observations. This allowed me to practice using English in a creative and expressive way. I also joined online writing communities where I could receive feedback from other writers and improve my skills. To further challenge myself, I began to study English literature. Reading classic novels and plays exposed me to the rich history and cultural significance of the language. It also helped me develop a deeper appreciation for the nuances and complexities of English expression. By continuing to learn and grow, I was able to maintain my fluency and expand my knowledge of the English language. My journey was a testament to the power of lifelong learning and the importance of staying curious and engaged with the world around me. Summary The journey to fluency in English began with a spark of curiosity and a desire to connect with the language. By immersing myself in English through listening, reading, watching, speaking, and writing, I was able to overcome challenges, build confidence, and achieve fluency. The key to success was perseverance, dedication, and a love for the language. Even after reaching fluency, continuous learning and growth were essential to maintain proficiency and expand my understanding of English. Special technique the shadowing technique 
One special technique that I found particularly helpful in improving my pronunciation and fluency was the shadowing technique. This involves listening to a native speaker and then immediately repeating their words and phrases, trying to mimic their intonation, rhythm, and pace. By shadowing frequently, I was able to train my ear to recognize and reproduce the sounds of English more accurately and I also developed a smoother and more natural flow of speech.